I want to touch on the well publicized, you know, incident, we'll call it that, that occurred recently at the Oscars mm -hmm. involving Will Smith, Jada Smith, and Chris Rock. Um, however, I don't want to give oxygen. I don't want to focus on the assault that occurred. I, I really want you to focus on and, and please provide some insight on what might have led to that incident. Um, you know, cause I, you know, I looked at that and of course, you know, you're, you know, you felt what you felt, mm -hmm. you know, but as usual, there's always more than meets the eye. There's always more there. So as experts in marriage coaching and marriage therapy, what was your impression? What did you, what did you think, um, was there that maybe we should all be attuned to? Mm, yeah, I, I don't know. I think it could be, you know, a slew of things. It couldn't be a trigger word or it could be, I don't know, looking at your spouse and seeing that your spouse was upset. It could be something frustration, pent up frustration. And then seeing your spouse is upset, you just take out that frustration without really thinking mm -hmm. first. It could be, I don't know, a myriad of things. That yeah, that. there, there is. Um, and I'm, I'm only smiling because I'm thinking back to my timeline as I went through social media and just how many people pick, tried to pick this apart in so many different ways. Mm -hmm. I, I believe that. And obviously we only know what we see, right? Indeed. There, there has been a, a lot of talk about this couple based on the things that they have put out. Mm -hmm. So the red table talk interviews and different things that have come out around the entanglement and, and their issues in the bedroom and their marriage and it being open or not open. A lot of these things have come out. And as we all do, people gravitate to certain sound bites and use that to make certain judgment calls. I, I will say this, what, what played out that night, I believe, is a byproduct of a much bigger scenario. And if we go off of just what we've seen in the media with what their relationship has gone through, if the only place you can process that is in front of 60 million people, mm. as opposed to taking some time to process that by yourself, whether it be in therapy or in coaching or whatever it is, mm -hmm. you can own that's only sustainable for so long before you break under the pressure of trying to look a certain way for all of the 60 million people, Ooh. but shoulder the frustration that you are dealing with when those 60 million people aren't watching. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I was hoping I'd have a moment like this during the interview, but <laughs> yeah, that's exactly why I brought you on. Cause I wanted, I wanted that expertise to just go deeper and, and, and you're right. We only know what we know. We only know what's out there, but that is so insightful. Mm -hmm. um, and a, a plausible, you know, possibility. I mean, it's yeah. plausible, right? Yeah. In light of everything that's in the public domain, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, as, it's, not, and it's not yeah. just the relationship, right? I, mm -hmm. I haven't read his whole book, but I, there's excerpts, right? And there's, 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 uh, a part where he talks about how he felt with dealing with his mom and mm. her situation and how that stuck with him. Right. So you that's you're talking about compounded areas where you have to shoulder this level of frustration that is not being processed or is only being processed a certain way for certain people, mm. but not processed in a way that is conducive to the success between you and your mate. You can only hold that up, but for so long, mm. like you yeah. just, you can't, you can't hold, you can't shoulder that forever. At some point you snap in one way or another. So to, to put a bow on this, what is the lesson or a lesson for, for the rest of us who are just watching this? What's one, and there are probably many things that we can take <laughs> away, but to 
to try to be our best selves, what is a lesson that we can take from that experience? I would say if I had to pick one lesson is one. that we have to be more intentional about our going through our own process of self-discovery and self-development. Mm. And it has to be authentic. It can't be because I want to look a certain way for you or I want to appear a certain way for this person. It has to be something that I am very intentional about digging into myself for, to use your words, be the best version of myself. Yeah, I, I love that. I just I just want to let that breathe for a minute. Like when you when you said it, 